Today's reading comes from Matthew 6, verses 25 to 34. Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food, and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any one of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your life? And why do you worry about clothes? See how the flowers of the field grow. They do not labour or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon, in all his splendour, was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you, you of little faith? So do not worry, saying, what shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. This is God's word. Hi, I'm John. Just like to share some of my story. I'm married to Jenny, uh, who's also featured on these devotionals. And we've got six adult children and six grandchildren. We've been married for 30 odd years. God has always been good to us and blessed us and provided for us. I'm in the farming industry, which I set off in on my 16th birthday, moving away from home. It's long hours and hard work, but God has always looked after me and our family. About 18 years ago, um, my boss, he sold the cows and we had to um, find more work. We had no income, no house which was free before, and no savings. But with God's backing, I set up this business, Trimming Cows Feet. And uh, he has blessed us in this business, along with my son, who also works down in Dorset. I also believe in angels, as God says he will provide his angels to care over us. A couple of stories. 1981, I was driving through Alaska with a friend and we were looking for a campsite and it said campsite next right. So we were going along this uh, track about 30 mile an hour. I suddenly said stop. So we jumped out of the car and walked forwards a few yards and the bridge had gone and there was a sheer drop into a fast flowing river. I suspect if we hadn't been stopped by an angel, we'd have dropped in there and probably not been found for weeks on end. It's very remote. Another place and uh, another situation. I was trimming cows a few years ago, up also in Kent, and I felt a great big shock go through me and I went up in the air and landed on the concrete away away. I was just thinking, can't survive this. Just starting to pick myself up and I realised the ball was coming in to finish me off. And he had clunked me one and uh, had me down on the ground and he was just knocking me about with a lot of kicking and shouting. I managed to roll in a manger and get away. Now in this industry, if a ball gets you on the ground, you don't normally survive. So uh, there again, I think this is God who was looking after us. Carrying on the story of God's provision, about 10 years ago, our church were looking to pay off the mortgage of about £400,000. Now this was quite a big ask as our uh, annual gift day had usually provided about 100000 And what they were asking people to do was buy a brick, which was about £1,000, either as a family or a cell group or something. And uh, I came home and I said to Jenny and we was wondering what to do. And I had on my drive this beaten up old pickup with a blown engine and every single panel which was beaten up from my job. And uh, I was thinking of taking it down the dump for a couple of hundred quid, except I couldn't get it there. Well, I put it up on eBay. It got up to about six, seven hundred quid. But the guy never turned up to pick it up again. So I thought, ah, oh, I'll just 
they'll take it down the dump. Anyway, someone said to me, not a Christian, well, I'll put it up again, see what it goes for. So I put it up again and the bidding went right up to 1,400 quid. Anyway, the guy came down a couple of days later, gave me 1,400 quid, took away, and I said, what do you want with this old pickup, non-runner? He said, oh, I'll stick another engine in it, some builder will buy it. Anyway, um, so we had our thousand pounds to pay for a brick, plus a bit extra, and we always thought that was God's provision, and uh, we thank God for that and plenty of other times in our lives when we haven't had the money for things or we needed things at a certain time god has always provided just in time and um, so i'd like to end my testimony uh, just sharing god's faithfulness to us over all our lives and my kids lives and everything so god bless goodbye